Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? As y'all might have heard, I just want to talk about the Sony Cloud Gaming Partnership with Gaikai and what it actually means for gamers, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all don't know already, PlayStation literally simply bought Gaikai. It's um, a cloud, cloud gaming service similar to, basically it's the same thing as OnLive. OnLive is cloud gaming as well. And basically what cloud gaming lets you do is it lets you play games without downloading them, you just stream the game. So if you're going if you are going cloud gaming, say you can just go on PSN store, pick a game and play it straight away in the get go without without downloading nothing, none of that bullshit. You just play the game straight there and then and that's pretty much what cloud gaming is. But there's a few other things, but that's basically the main thing. Now I mean, what they're doing with cloud gaming, they're putting it into all sorts of TV sets and this kind of stuff. I mean, if you buy one of the most expensive Samsung TVs, you get cloud streaming, cloud gaming in there. And you can basically go play games and stuff just to that. You can just stream games. You don't have to download nothing. You don't need no consoles, no nothing. All you need is a, is a controller. And you can get to, you, you just get to play most games, you know what I'm saying? So that's what this cloud gaming shit is. This is a pretty big deal, yeah. This, trust me, this is a pretty big deal when it comes to gaming. I mean, just imagine, right? You go on PSN store, you see a demo they wanna play, but you're like, damn, it's like 20 gig. You'll be like, that shit gonna take like three days to download. But with cloud gaming, y'all click on that game and you play that game straight away, man. That that is a big deal when it comes to gaming. I mean, how many times have how many times have you put in a game in your PS3 and then there's an update, right? And you, there's about six or seven updates and you have to wait for like an hour or two just to play the game. With cloud gaming, none of that happens, man. None of that happens. It's, cr it's crazy. Now, the word is that they're going to be using, using this service for, as well as gaming, they're going to be using it for different Sony products or such as TVs and tablets and all that bullshit. But in terms of gaming, this could be this could be a revolution, man. I mean, the thing is, right? Y'all need now. I'm not sure if y'all need a super fast internet connection, but you need a pretty good internet connection to run these games. The problem, with, see, the problem with cloud gaming, right? Is that cause cause y'all are streaming the game, there could be some sort of latency, maybe some frame issues or graphical quality might deter or something like that that could be a problem if y'all don't have a good internet connection but my opinion on this is I think this will just be a side option to other gamers maybe they might put it into PlayStation Plus members or something I mean they're not gonna make it cloud gaming every, they're not gonna make everything cloud gaming I mean let's be honest some people don't have don't, some people don't even have broadband connections you know and they just play offline single player games and stuff so I mean, what happens with them people? So, they ain't gonna abandon disc-based physical games. But what I'm saying is that this will be a service that they'll probably put into PlayStation Plus sometime in the future. And I think this could be crazy, man. Now, in terms of PS3, I highly doubt that they're gonna use cloud gaming for the PS3. Because y'all know the PS4 will be, well, rumor is anyway, it's gonna be coming out towards the end of 2013, if not in 2014 latest you know what i'm saying so i think they're going to be putting this into the ps4 this cloud gaming service they'll put it in for my opinion anyway they'll put it on for ps plus members they might do it for everyone you know what i'm saying but you never know you never know man i mean the big thing is in terms of playstation vr this could be crazy man i mean we all know PlayStation VR is like it's a portable device, so you can just be going around places and just be playing games from the get-go. I mean, if you are on the Vita, we all know that memory cards are an absolute bump. They're expensive. All the games from PSN store to take up a lot of space. I mean, I wanted to buy Mortal Kombat, right? I had to go buy the new normal version rather than the dig digital version because my memory card didn't have enough space. But with cloud gaming, we we only need no memory cards. 
I mean, just imagine, man. No memory cards required on the VR. You just go play the game straight away. That could be crazy. It could be crazy, man. It could be crazy. And then the other thing this cloud gaming thing brings is we can all play backward compatibility games without any extra sort of hardware. That that that's a big one right there. If Sony wants to open up the whole library of the PS2 and PS1 games, the whole library, man, that would be amazing. Just imagine replaying San Andreas right now. Going on PS Store, buying the game and playing it straight away without downloading it, no nine. Come on man, that that is crazy to me. It's crazy man. I mean they've already got some sort of cloud integration when it comes to PSN Plus. PlayStation Plus members can upload um game save data onto the cloud and then re-download on another PS3 so you can just go play it on another PS3 or your friend's PS3. But um this could be this could mean that PS4 will be the last console man. It really could mean that the next generation of consoles could be the last consoles. Because the thing is, when it comes to cloud gaming, y'all don't need to start upgrading hardware or any of that bullshit. Because cloud streaming, they basically stream the game from a super computer somewhere in, I don't know, wherever they're going to hold their big ass servers and computers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all were just streaming that shit. Y'all were just streaming that shit. And if this cloud gaming takes over and everyone and like all the consumers embrace it next gen is going to be the last gen of consoles man it's going to be the last gen me personally i want to keep buying a new ps i want to keep buying a new playstation every three or four every five or six years i don't know that's just me I, li I like buying my consoles man i just like it but ps4 to be the last console i don't like the idea of that man i don't like the idea of that i want to see upgrades and all that bullshit but this cloud gaming thing it could be a revolution like it could change gaming forever man it could change gaming forever now granted you might need a speed internet connection but like i said i think they ain't gonna do this cloud gaming thing up until ps4 comes out so there's still a few years to wait there's still a few years to wait but that being said cloud gaming man let me know what y'all think in the comments is it good do y'all just want to see one more PS4 and that's it? End of consoles? I don't know, man. I want to see more consoles, but let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'm out.